Hello, hello, welcome back guys. Pretty amazing news uh, for Meta holders and I am one. I actually have a large position. It's actually one of my largest positions in my portfolio. And so today, actually after hours, uh, Meta is actually up about 18%. You can kind of see here, I'm on stock tweets, you can kind of see a lot of people talking about it. Of course, you're going to be seeing bearish and bullish actions, but I can look at this uh, new Meta post here. There's a lot of action going on. And so, of course, a lot of people are actually looking to see what is happening with Meta. Again, it's actually about 18% higher after hours. So this potentially means that um, tomorrow it could even be a better day. Now, this is already up a lot, so it could hover around this point because you will see it's uh, $181. But we want to see what happened and also examine the stock in a little bit more detail. Again, you can kind of see here after hours, uh, 18%. So let's see what happened uh, in uh, the earnings reports, though, with stocks making the biggest after hours uh, moves right now, which is Meta, Line Technology, Health Beauty and more. But let's see what happened uh, with uh, Meta exactly. So Meta shares soar 17% on fourth quarter revenue beat. Now, people love revenue. <laughs> and uh, they are willing to sacrifice earnings in some situations, especially when the overall market and the overall economy is down. At least you have the sales to back uh, your um, uh, pretty much business. So let's see what happened here. The Meta, Meta exceeded estimates and I have talked about it. Like Meta has been bust in the past for a couple of quarters. And uh, when a company has been bust so much and it's been down like 50 percent, 60 percent, you can expect... Um, low expect you, ha you can have low expectations and even the slightest bit can actually make send the stock soaring and this is what ha what's happening with meta right now as you'll see meta shares uh, popped since um, this is probably one of the most important things and it's extremely awesome like i love this one the fact that they announced a 40 billion dollar stock buyback that's insane that's a lot because take a look at uh, again you, you can see in our tool here uh, obviously, all our patrons have access to our tool. You can find the links in the description box below this video if you're interested. But you will see that the current market cap of the company is $400 billion. So buying back $40 billion is 10% of the float. And uh, they have already been buying back their shares. So this is going to be going lower. And this is fantastic, obviously, because now my shares and your, share, your shares are worth more. And so, you know, this is fantastic for investors. Great news. And uh, it's one of the core reasons why the stock is up. Now... Earnings 1.76 per share and uh, revenue 32.17 billion versus uh, 31.53 billion that was expected. So higher than expected here is, is always nice to see. Now, the company has reported restructuring changes for its family of apps segment and Reality Labs unit of uh, 3.76 billion and 440 million. And... Um, uh, because of these changes, it's difficult to compare the company's earnings per share to analyst estimates of 2.22. As you'll see here, this is lower, like the net income is lower. But again, there have, there have been these changes here and it looks like they, are, they account for a potential loss here. Now, I want to see, of course, what happened with the users. The active users is, are always important for a company of this sort. And 2 billion versus 1.99. So anything around 2 billion, that's already a huge amount of daily active users. As you can understand, 2 billion people is insane. And so even if there was a slight decrease here, it doesn't really mean much. But you still want to keep an eye and see whether we are still in the, in the many billions, like in the couple billions at least. Like monthly active users, 2.96 versus 2.98. Again, this is very similar. And uh, average revenue per user, 10.86 versus 10.863 expected. This is always nice. Mean, meaning basically how much money you get per person uh, that is on the platform on average, of course. So this is pretty nice. Now, revenue in the fourth quarter fell 4% from a year earlier, expected, of course. But it's not, uh, it's, it's not falling as much as uh, some analysts would potentially expect here, marking a third straight quarter of declining sales. Again, uh, again this is expected. As I mentioned earlier, there have been a couple of quarters where the company has been completely annihilated. Now, the company's cost and expenses ballooned 22% year over year to 25.8 billion. Again, that's something to be expected here. Now, they did say that they expect revenue in the first quarter of between 26 billion and 28.5. That's the next quarter. That's the guidance, pretty much the next quarter. So this is very, very important for the upcoming quarter. And analysts were expecting sales of 27.1, according to Refinitiv. So this looks fair. Uh, this is around uh, where, uh, you know, what the company has actually suggested here. Sales in the first quarter of 2021 came in at 27.9 billion. 
So, should Meta reach the high end of its current odds rates, the company could end its streak of year-over-year declines. Again, we, can, we have been having a couple of years that have been terrible, a couple of quarters that have been terrible for Meta. Now, they have increased their headcount head count, uh, 20% year-over-year. That's quite a lot, actually. I didn't expect that. And the company expects that its total expenses will be in the range of 89 billion to 95 billion, which is lower than expected. This is another thing that investors like in this current environment, of course. We want companies to cut down on uh, expenses that are not really needed because there is a problem w- with the overall economy. And so we want them to kind of, you know, be careful about how they're spending money. The same thing we want with our governments and we never get. We do want it for our stocks for sure. Now, the very, very important thing, the thing that I mentioned earlier, a $40 billion increase to its stock repurchase plan. Remember, they already had the repurchase plan, so they, adding, they are adding $40 billion on top of this one. So this is insane. This is amazing. I love that. This is, <laughs> regardless of what's happening in the earnings, this is exactly what I wanted to hear. I don't, I don't really mind what is happening in the, with the earnings because I know that this is a temporary thing, you know, that is based on the overall economy right now. But the $40 billion buyback, I totally get it and I, I'm totally for it, 100%. And so the company already bought back 27.9 billion worth of its shares last year. So they keep buying and buying now that the stock is actually lower and uh, pretty much uh, very cheap since they have, they have plummeted, the shares have plummeted by over 60% last year. It's nice that I, I did buy my shares uh, back in the previous crash. I remember the Cambridge Analytica crash, it was like 2020, something of that sort. And uh, I bought it, when I bought it, it was like $158, and I thought that I was getting a fantastic price, and I was, because the stock then suited up, but then it went down again. And so right now I'm still in the green, finally, going back in the green, but uh, that, ha- that, that has been a pretty interesting ride so far. But um, I, we do want to kind of see what is happening right now with the metrics of the company. Like, we have talked about Meta, obviously, a lot uh, in uh, my channel, because it's one of the companies that I l- really like for a long-term hold. I think it's a fantastic company. Uh, fundamental stock, pretty much fundamental company to own. Because take a look at the P ratio 15 uh, for a company of this sort. Take a look at how how much lower it has been going, like less than, than half what it used to be. And uh, the same thing with the price to free cash flow, even better, frankly. Fantastic. And this is going down uh, more. Another thing that I absolutely love to see, take a look at this one. It's going down and down and down and down and down. That's exactly what I want to see with my outstanding shares. And so this fantastic news over here. And everything is looking fantastic, like the revenue has been growing in the previous uh, years, net income, free cash flow, everything has been doing great. Again, we do know ab- about the most recent quarters where, you know, like the margins have been going down a little bit and the company has been having some quarters that were not uh, great and they were uh, losing some money. This is These are known things. It's, uh, it was the fiscal year, the 2021, that was still positive. But after that, some quarters were negative and we do know about this one. However, however, uh, the company's stock is super cheap and uh, I think, again, for the long run, it's a fantastic investment. This is why I have it in my portfolio. Now, I want to take a little bit of a look just to summarize the video and pretty much end it here. I just want to see where we are with our stock evaluation tool, of course. Uh, Very, very important to see how much uh, we are, should be willing to pay now that the stock is actually 100, at 181, it's more expensive. So is it still cheap to be buying Meta at this current uh, environment and price? Now, the revenue growth of the company has been achieving in the previous years, that's a fiscal year, the, it hasn't ended yet for 2022. You will see that um, the actually this is ending now pretty much, so this is going to be updated pretty soon in the tool as well. But uh, for now, you will see that the company has been achieving revenue increases of like 20%, 25%, at some point 37% here, so 20, 47%. But we have to go much, much lower because we are in at an era where all companies are struggling right now. We could maybe, maybe, who knows, enter a recessionary period. So we kind of have to be cautious. So I'm going to go with much lower values, 8, 10, and 12. That's a five-year discounted cash flow model. Remember this one. So you can go a little bit higher. It makes sense. But if you are looking at like a 10-year or 20 years, 30 years, whatever, you probably have to go even lower. But uh, net income margins of... um, we are going to go with, again, something that is lower. You can kind of see here what the company has been achieving, almost always more than 30%. One year they had 26, so I will actually try that. I would go 26 for one year, and then I will go 28 and 30, which I think they should comfortably achieve for the next five years. And remember, this is a software company. They are selling ads pretty much. And um, free, the free cash flow margin is like around 100%, very typical 80, 90, and 100. Makes a ton of sense here for Facebook, even more potentially in some situations, but okay. 13% is uh, the annual return that I'm going to be asking for in uh, for Meta, from Meta. And if you calculate here, 
And uh, you will see that with these uh, kinds of estimates here, we are very, very comfortably in the green. It's only our low ones that are getting there right now at 177, 74, when we are currently, remember, at 181. Uh, this is the after hours um, the price. This is, this is today's close, 153. But again, the after hours, uh, when the market opens tomorrow, is probably going to be 180, 181. So we are there over here. Our medium ones, though, are 229 with a 10% revenue growth and uh, the high one uh, almost 300 bucks with a 12% revenue growth and I think frankly this is probably the most representative uh, to be to be sincere <clears throat> so obviously I wouldn't b buy if it was $300 today but uh, somewhere around um, where it is right now 180 190 200 bucks maybe even 220 I think it's a fair fair value here for uh, for Meta, so I have been I have been saying it for a while now. I think this is a very valuable company to be holding. So do tell me what you think about Meta, guys. Um, what are you expecting from other tech companies as well? And uh, tell me whether you are buying, whether you are selling, what ha you have been doing with Meta. I'd love to hear your comments and remember to leave a like and subscribe, of course, if you are new around here. I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye for now.